Hello, everyone. My name is James Strong. Today is March 28th, 2024. This is the Ingress Nginx subproject meeting with SIG Networking, which means it is a CNCF event, and we adhere to the CNCF code of conduct. If you have any issues, please report those to myself or Ricardo or the SIG Networking leads. With that, we'll go ahead and get started. I see we've got a new member with us today. Would you like to go ahead and introduce yourself and uh, explain, uh, talk about your interest in the project? Or not, up to you. No worries. Oh, right. there you are. No, okay. Well, we are a week out of KubeCon. Um, we've gotten a lot of... Um, responses to the project rename so for those who aren't aware or didn't get a chance to see it uh, the idea is that with us supporting gateway api we will no longer be just ingress nginx so we put it out to the community and ask them after we support gateway api what should we rename the project to um, got about a hundred or so responses. Um, I can share those. We've got, there's some good ones in there. There's some not so good ones. Um, it's, it's an interesting eclectic choice. Um, we'll have to work through how we'll, uh, um, how we'll pick one out. But, um, with that, um, Ricardo, is there anything specifically that you wanted to talk about? I know you're short on time. Um, did you enjoy the, uh, call out? <laughs> in the call in the talk uh i was gonna answer you that but we are under cncf code of conduct so i won't <laughs> uh sorry <laughs> uh but yeah so uh i think that from me uh i after that uh, releasing 125 and uh I know there are some problems there. I, I would take a look into that when i have time i don't want to discuss them right now i won't have time for that Okay. Um, I didn't know but, there. Uh, I didn't know there was issues. I know there's one uh, there, with the one ten. The, yeah, there is one issue. There is one issue, one specifically issue with this uh, chunking whatever. But oh, I will yeah, be able to one. look at that. Yeah, and uh, and other than that, we I have closed a bunch of uh, issues and uh, a bunch of PRs and merged a bunch of PRs. I'm not sure if you saw that the QE it has uh, disappeared. Before KubeCon, probably it's 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 increasing again. But uh, uh, yeah, anyway, is. anyway, yeah, the issues that we are just getting more and more. But uh, we have some new uh, folks coming to contribute. I would like to uh, have them actually. I, I'm gonna try to make some good job to do some proper review on time. So uh, I wanna I'm adding again to my bucket the split control plane and data plane now that. Now that we have released in Gen X one twenty five, and that we have a bunch of things organized, and that we have some good uh, ideas on how to do that, I I really want to focus on that. If not for one eleven, for one twelve. But as I've seen before, the meeting started. I'm short on time for the yeah. next month, including weekends, which is when I do stuff. Yeah. So uh, expect some delay from me. But no yeah. worries. Um, that one. We know we've been working a lot on that one and we always appreciate your time. So we know you've got a lot of stuff going on in your personal life. So um, there was one thing I wanted to ask. Um, there was an issue that was opened up about the Nginx 125 directory and the Nginx build directory. Um, I don't know if that one is as simple as a change <clears throat> as just renaming the directories and getting rid of it? No, we can't do that yet because uh, we still support old versions that need the old image, right? So Oops. if we get rid on of- main, On main, we can though. No, but we, we do the build of the images based on main. No, we can, we, we build off of releases now. We can build off ah, of really? branches. So yeah, we should be able to. Because remember we, we this... had the, the, the AJP issue. Uh, yeah, but uh, but uh, all of the organization that I did on GitHub Actions was based on the main. Those images built in the pipeline, whatever. But I, I, I mean, 
if you think it's fine, it's, it's 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 fine. I I I okay. don't really mind on merging things. Uh, we just need to be sure that before merging this, we do some proper changes on the test infra and other things, so we don't start you know building because our images they are named also as like in Ginex one twenty five and in Ginex on the base images. Yeah, and we just need to make sure that we are not going to start replacing or messing. So they must should still be called right now in Ginex 125 on the uh, on Kubernetes registry, because we still support both of them, and we need to be sure that we are adding the right image in the right places. That's fair. Um, yeah, I didn't think I wanted to put the message out out there for this user um, that I didn't think it was just as simple as they wanted to. Um, do you think it would be helpful? I only you, you said you've got you're short on time. Um, okay. No, I, I, I was gonna say just just tell them like uh, we want to do that, but we will do that as soon as we don't support. I think the easiest thing that we can do is just like we are gonna keep this way until we don't support any release within Ginex, it's, not one twenty five anymore. Yeah, one nine. right. It's not something right now that it's a. Uh, uh, it's not something that it, that it's like high priority for us at least. I don't think it's like it's not breaking anything. It's not uh, messing with anything. It's not causing bugs. It's probably just causing a bit of confusion for someone that wants to start uh, 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 bumping something on in Ginex image, which we should just direct people to the right places. But other than that, I don't think I don't think the effort pays for it right now. Why always okay. support old versions? Yeah. Okay. Thank you for that. I'll go ahead and update that one. I'll take an action item to update that. Ricardo, can I ask a quick question? Yeah. Uh, did you, when you're, when you're implementing validation, so the path validation is alphanumeric and people need to use implementation specific path type for using a character like dollar sign, right? Yeah, I, I saw that comment as well, Long. Uh, uh, to be honest, if, if someone can take a look into that and, and I, I, I can't answer that one as well, like I won't have time to analyze that. So if someone can just like, you know, jump in the, into that and say like, hey, uh, this is a valid case, this is not a valid case, and we do some implementation on validation with a better approach that won't let us open to new CVEs. I'm all about that. I, I just don't want to gatekeep on people deciding which validation should be done or not. But uh, but I, I think I think we should we should we should have some uh, good approach on that. Like if this is a valid case, let's just discuss and, and do it. Uh, what I don't want is just some case that covers just some one random user on some random company with like 5k, 5 access per second, that will just break all of the other cases. This is this is bad for us. No, I'll, I'll own it. I will, I'll take care of that part. But I had one curiosity question. The curiosity yeah. was, he's not talking about the path field. He's talking about the permanent redirect annotation. So what he's saying is that Long, which issue he is this? Do you know the number? Uh, it's a recent issue. I have not on my computer, but if you look, go to the issues page, you'll see uh, about permanent redirect. Uh, it's right there. It's in the top five or ten. It's not. It's not further down. It just it was reported just yesterday or today. So, uh, Ricardo, this is a simple question that before 110, the dollar sign was working in the permanent redirect annotation value. And uh, I looked at the code, I went to the validator function, then I saw the struct for the URL, valid URL check. So, in the valid URL check, I can see dollar. So, I I'll, I'll dig further, but I just want to ask you in a very high level, very broad high level. In the validation that you implemented, did you uh, have, do you have an idea that you blocked the dollar sign for uh, <laughs> annotations? Being, being really, really, really honest with you, 
I did like 150 validations. Yeah, I don't yeah, remember yeah. why I did that. Uh, honestly, I probably made it work with some unit tests that we had already and passing into and test and was like uh, enough for me because it was covering cases that people raised. So probably I have missed something. Uh, uh, and that's that's why we kept that like on priority uh, on level critical. And maybe maybe we have just lowered to prior to, to risk high. And when we lowered to his high, probably it started breaking people because that was like a high a, a high risk annotation, right? So I don't know if we changed the validation from critical to high on 110, I, I guess we did. So that's that's why probably it's broken. Okay, no problem. I'll check. I'll, I'll ask them also. Um, it, 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 now it's broken. Probably they just never saw that. The Actually, the CI test, the end-to-end -end test is checking for a domain name only. It is not checking for uh, redirect uh, destination that contains a path as well. So this guy, I'm sure it will pass if he hard codes a path, but he is taking the nginx variable, you know, as a request URL, dollar request URL, and that he's saying was working before 110, and in 110 that uh, dollar request URL variable being suffixed to the value of the permanent redirect uh, you know, annotations uh, value, that's not working. So, okay, I'll, I'll check, I'll check. Okay. Um, this is another interesting one where, um, Ricardo, if I wanted to get your thoughts on this one, the rewrites, um, I'm trying to understand, like doing a per service rewrite, um, they want to be able to do that. And I don't know if we should support that or not, because that sounds like a peer service per service rewrite. This sounds like a gateway API um, setup. That's Sorry, uh, I was I was muted. Let me see. They want to uh, uh, support the the nginx rewrite where they do it per service. Uh, yeah. So I, was, I don't think I don't think we should try to implement this in Ingress, and no. this this will be supported in HTTP route. Yeah. Okay. We don't have time for that. Sorry, honestly, yeah. like no, not I mean not not being a jerk. <laughs> We no, won't I... have short time to, to do that right now. From well, the bottom of my heart, I wanted to implement everything, but, uh, you know. No, we only have so much time in the day. Um, trying to think. I didn't get a chance to go look at... Uh... Hey, there is one we should NPR that I wanted someone if they can check. What's that? Which is if HTTP two now works on uh, Nginx one ten uh, with HTTPS. Also, somebody's also asked if we can add HTTP three support. Uh, this is a PR. Yeah. Well, yeah, we can. Yeah, we can. But I was confused what they mean by here by the open rusty into the build config. Uh, I think Open Resty doesn't have support, didn't have support so uh, so far for HTTP three, okay. and now they do. Uh, so uh -huh. if you go to files, change it. I think it's like uh, the new Open Resty now supports, but uh, and now we need to enable Quick uh, uh, on that. But uh, I would like that Jintao make some comments because he did some comment on past like uh, Open Resty now supports HTTP three and so on. Jintao is already a reviewer. Yeah. I was gonna leave him for it. Okay. Yeah, but before HTTP three, uh, this one that I was talking is like HTTP two, using HTTP and not needing HTTPS. So someone sent a PR on that, and then we say like, hey, this is probably common on in Giant X one twenty five, but we need someone to test that and say like, yeah, it's working or not. So uh, yeah. 
uh, I don't know, I can H two C. That's that's what that one. Stop, stop, James. That's a uh, uh, ten nine hundred and eighteen. Yeah, this one. If someone can test this and say like, hey, this is uh, fix it by Nginx125, I would uh, pretty much be happy. The request is Complex. test if we still need this on 125. If not, let's just close this PR. Okay, since we're on 125, we shouldn't we, we shouldn't need this one. Okay. Alrighty. I've already looked at this one. Let me see if there's any couple other ones to look at before you leave. Um, I can probably, I'll assign myself to this one. I've got access to an EKS cluster to go test this to try to see if IPv6. I can't think of any reason why IPv6 wouldn't work. It needs a little bit more details, though, on how his networking is set up. Let me test that out. Um, There was a PR in here. I don't know if we're ready to actually fully remove the open tracing or uh, details. Did you see that one come through? No. Nope. Yeah, there was one in here. Yeah, remove all open tracing support. Um, I think I this is me being stupid and forgetting to remove from documentation. This is just docs. Everything else was removed. Oh, uh, this is uh, this is just docs. Okay. What, what what's on the build? Hold on. What do you mean? What's on the build? Yeah, build build that sh something. Uh, I think he's just removing the the actual code for it. But uh, hold on, can you scroll down? Ah, okay, yeah. Uh, but okay. Uh, so we have deprecated that on Nginx one ten, right? So it doesn't make sense to remove from Nginx uh from this image. Just an Nginx 125, because which doesn't one, have it anymore. This is the one. This is the one nine that still has it. Yeah, so we don't need to remove from from the build scripts, uh, yeah. because we, we still need to maintain. But we can remove from uh, the documentations. Okay, I'll add that note in here. Or, or instead of removing, saying that this doesn't work after Nginx version X, I think it's better because uh, uh, we still have users using Nginx one nine and one eight. So we should just state that this is deprecated on version 110, right? It doesn't yeah. exist on 110 anymore. Yeah. Uh, I'll leave that. Sorry, I'll leave that just make one more comment. Both of you are here. Um, whenever possible, uh, please make a decision about the internal load balancer feature that we have. Because uh, while the feature works, uh, I got feedback from people that it works. The problem is the practicality of that feature is gone simply because um, the internal load balancer hosting cannot be returned to external DNS. So even if somebody does configure an internal load balancer and get a LB, um, the the load balancer and IP address, external IP field of the ingress for internal ingresses doesn't get populated. So external DNS goes crazy and is Why able would to they point external DNS to an internal load balancer. Yeah, that that is what I have discussed and explained to people. But I think from our point of view, 
because of the practicality that somebody can create uh, internal load balancer, but DNS they have to ha manage uh, or handle manually. Um, I think at least in docs, what do you what do you want to uh, say or something something because of the practicality of the thing, whatever decision you make uh, accordingly, we can make uh, changes to documentation. That's 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 a configuration issue that we can't like just because you can do it doesn't mean it's right. <laughs> like if you're going to you can populate an internal like if this is on AWS you can populate an internal route 53 with an internal address other than that like if you're trying to populate your external DNS on your public DNS with an internal one that's just that that that's not great DNS management. I, I, I no, that's correct. There's no contention on that. The point being stated by multiple users is this, that the practicality of integrating internal uh, LB feature in our values file, when, when, when that is not practical anymore. So they're saying, I, neither docs say that, that it's not possible to use automation, nor are we stating or saying that, hey, this is what it is, so you'd have to create DNS records manually, et cetera. So if you think we should just put it in docs, we can just do that. We're kind of, uh, the, what the multiple, the in you, one issue. Yeah, can you, can you just, can you gather up the issues with that one? And then yeah. just, just present it, I mean, and maybe just open up a docs issue to close those because I, yeah, we've. So I'm, I'm asking because I was thinking, should we just stop supporting that internal LB? Or do you I mean, want to continue supporting internal LB feature? It's, I mean, it's there. It take, it's going to take time to remove that feature. So it's, if somebody Again, this is one of those things where it's like it's it's a feature that works, and if people are having configuration issues, that's we can update docs. Updating docs is easier than trying to remove a feature, um, especially if folks are even still using it. So I I, I vote we just update the docs on okay. proper usage because we just don't okay. have the time to remove a feature. Got it. And he's gone. Okay. Yeah, I'll go ahead and open up a docs issue. Um, just documenting the conversation and we can go from there. I am going to update these three or four issues and go from okay. there. Okay. I'm not going to force people to sit and watch me type. All right, Long. <laughs> it was great. It was great talking to you again, as always. Thank you for your help. And well, if we don't talk, I'll talk to you in a couple of weeks. Have a nice one. Bye.